atrium design. It was really popular with press houses at the time. Um, and it's the last one standing in the Twin Cities. Really? Yeah, they were all demolished. What the heck? For new development. Passed into another building. Question, question, real quick. Do you mind being on camera? No. Okay, because I do YouTube. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> like, just asking ahead of time. So this is uh, the Minnesota Museum of American Art. They just renovated this space. It's their chain lobby and gallery area is closed. Uh, they're renovating another area of the building as well. But uh, really excited to have them open here. And it is free admission if you want to go check it out. I'd probably do. I'll right. stop in after the tour. It looks like they've got something going on. Yeah. You might have to show me how to get down there. Oh, well, we can take that elevator, but I can also you know, point you through the building. Okay. Uh, so we have three Skyway connections. Uh, this would be probably your main Skyway to get to bars and restaurants. There's also stuff like uh, a Walgreens that way, a convenience store. There's even a DMV, Secretary of State's office, so okay. I don't know how familiar you are with the St. Paul Skyway system, but... Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. It, it reaches right. through most of downtown St. Paul. Yeah. You might have to walk a few blocks outside okay. most, but especially when it's cold out, it's very nice to have. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Right here is the green roof. So that's one of our amenities. Doesn't look like much right now. <laughs> it is closed and winterized. But in the summer, it's kind of like your rooftop garden terrace area. So we've got gas fireplace, gas grill. Is there a view out there? A bit of the federal courthouse, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not super high. But the real nice view is going to be on our sky deck on the 17th floor of the Pioneer Building. Okay. Nice. So, I do have one apartment here, but let's just keep moving to the Pioneer first. Okay. What do you normally get from here? Well, you know, I tried their peppermint iced mocha today, and it was fantastic. Um, <laughs> I usually, I drink so much coffee, I just get, like, black coffee. Either, like, cold or nitro, or yeah. sometimes hot. Avoid all our sugar, but... I uh, renovated into a common area. We are on the 17th floor of the Pioneer Building. Uh, this space is open year-round, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. You can stop out for a quick look. It's not... As sub zero temperatures as it was. Oh gosh. I'm so used to this weather. <laughs> Been here all my life, so. Nice view of the Mississippi. Here comes up this way. Good place to view fireworks. See, it just field is right over that building. Yeah, okay, so this is a two bed, 1.75 bath, uh, 1327 square feet. Rent is 2749. Okay. So spacious, it's so cute. Question is like majority of the layouts are the same or are they different? This is a pretty unique one. Um, there, there's five of these in the building. Okay. Um, many different floor plans, but um, some of them stack. So there's five of these you're gonna have to Question, washer and dryer, do you guys have that? Yes, they're in every department, so it's okay, just yeah. a game to find the washer and dryer. <laughs> so we have high efficiency washer and dryers, ventless dryers. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I forgot you said it was another bathroom in here. Hold on. Mm -hmm. 
this is unique layout because it looks out into the atrium, but also looks outside. That's actually pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but I would not have my blinds open. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> and then I don't really like this part though. So yeah, basically what they did here when they renovated everything, they kept all the flooring intact. Yeah. And when you see like cement like this, mm -hmm. that's probably a wall actually. So oh. this was probably like, you, you'll see support beams, um, pipes, or like uh, walls where the cement was. It's probably a hallway. It's just definitely like an office. Okay. So I just basically just kept everything the same, mm -hmm. sort of. Yeah, it is on the national. Uh, Ministry of Historic Buildings. Okay. So, try to keep as much as they can. Yep. Okay. Yep, okay. So there's typically somebody free in the office to answer calls. It has to be a really busy day when all three of us are completely indisposed. Yeah. All right, so this is a studio. Yes, this is 825. Oh. It's 413 square feet. Rents eleven fifty nine. Eleven fifty nine. This is oh, I don't know, like this. Hopefully, when I get a one bedroom, hopefully I won't see I this part up a little higher. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to. Yeah. I need a view at least. All right. Well, that's I'll write down. <laughs> I can definitely do that. Right? As far as like moving things in, is that the main elevator that we use to? Yeah, so it's actually the one that we're riding around. Studio. <laughs> I don't know why. I've never had a studio before. Huh. This is cute though. Don't get me wrong. It's very <laughs> cute. But I just can't see myself in a studio. I'm in a, a lot of corner units today. Yeah. You got a closet up here, right where you walk in, coats or what have you. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh no. Now, question. Yes. Not every unit has a tub. No. Is that a deal breaker for you? That is a deal breaker because I've been taking showers for three years and I just I'm not I don't want to go back to that. Yeah, the majority of our one bedrooms. Have tubs, but that'd be something we need to make sure it's yeah. for you, it's for a tub. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, this is cute, but this still just feels like a cubicle. Mm -hmm. Like, ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of course. It's a little marble. Some of the apartments do have, like, mostly marble flooring, some have uh, hardwood and other types of grass up. Or a mix of all three. This is nice. I like how they decorate this. Yeah, to show you how, like, this is potential. This is what it could look like. I like this. And it has a tub, so that's mm -hmm. a. So you can see this has the different uh, finishes. The ceiling is still tall. Ceiling's still tall. Yeah. So we were just in the building over here. That apartment we were in. Yeah. You look up at the top there. You were just up there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to be honest. I don't remember exactly where we were, but <laughs> I'll look back at the video. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I like this. I guess this is back to where we started. This is where you like started. <laughs> <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> so you. I didn't take the elevator everywhere. I made you walk a little bit so you can kind of go over here. I feel on yeah. what to expect, <laughs> which was nice. I'm glad you did that. So, yeah, the menus are very well. This takes here for more time. This takes you to okay. uh, the parking right on the skyway entrance. The stairs have been worn down. It definitely is. <laughs> <It's> a little <laughs> uneven. <laughs> Amenities, if they have public. Thank you. Nice. 
Like a, um, like a business center, like a conference room center? Not like a conference room, but you, know, you can use this as a conference room. Plenty of people use this to work from home. Okay. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing, working from home. <laughs> oh. So this is the space that you can reserve for $75 and get the entire day. 99% of the time it's open mm -hmm. reserved and then it's just free to use. Okay, and how would we know if it's reserved? You get big orange signs uh, posted if you're walking by and you're just like, maybe we'll use such orange. There will be signs posted if it is reserved. Um, otherwise, if you want to reserve it, we have a calendar running that we can let you know when it's available. Okay. Caught him off guard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, so we also actually Gambit's brewery is uh, down this way, so they do brew on site. Oh, what? But uh, yeah, really? very neat. Okay, I'm already at my other showing, and some guy was like, "Hey, y'all, miss yelling at me across the damn street." I'm like, "We already starting off rough." So yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> that was a red flag already. So starting down here, we do have some lounge space you can hang out down here. We also have Wi-Fi, just a couple of little workspace areas here and back around over there, a little bit of a work area. Okay. Um, we've got a coffee bar over here with coffees, cappuccinos, hot chocolates, and tea options. Perfect. Help yourself here. Is there 24-7 um, coffee years? Not 24-7, um, they are here in the evenings until between 11 and midnight, they usually roll. Really? Yep. Oh. And then we don't have any coverage until the next day um, when we come in, depending on the day of the week, 9 or 10 a.m. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Um, and then... Great fitness from here, cardio, machines, freeways. We've got a yoga studio inside there. There's a couple Good. more pieces of equipment in there, too. Ooh. This is nice. 
And how often does the um, machines get kind of like checked on? They're additional, they're not necessarily separate. So um, electricity is separate, that is metered and billed directly by Excel Energy, and then all the rest of the utilities get billed third party through us. So you will pay it with your rent, it all goes to the same place, but it's not included. Okay. So we'll send you a monthly rent statement every month that'll have your rent, your- That wraps all the way around the elevators there, and then over on this side here, we've got package lockers. Oh, you do have a Lux, is it Luxor? It is an Amazon. Oh, it's um, an Amazon. Yep, it's an Amazon hub, but everybody can deliver into here. Post office and UPS and everything. Okay, perfect. Yep, yep. Oh. Um, if there's anything oversized or needs signature. I have a guest suite back there. Yeah, it's a really cool unit. Um, it's super cool. It's a one by one bath. Um, it's got a king size bed in there and um, yeah. fully furnished kitchen stuff with pots and pans, dishes, all of that. So you can and actually <laughs> live in there. That's so um, cool. You can rent that out for $100 a night or $125 if it's a holiday. Okay. And then if you rent that, that comes with a parking space. And now with your elevators, do you have a uh, rate? Right? Yes. Yes. Yep. You know what sure I mean? You do? Yes. Okay. So on the side of our front lot over here, we've got a loading dock. Oh, it's the, oh, it's the game room. Oh. Yeah, game room. Nice. So we're on floor three now. So here's the rest of your community spaces. So you've got the game room here. Okay. Pool, foosball, darts. We've got cable TV and Wi-Fi in here. Nice. Um, We've got a couple of vertical wall games over here you can play. Um, and then we do have a stash of actual board games too somewhere. So if you'd like to, to play some games, we can take some of those out. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Um, around the corner back there is a little kind of gaming area. So you can bring in a gaming console and plug it in and hang out over there if you want to. Okay. Um, otherwise, if you're doing any kind of studying or working from home, I do have a lot of residents who come in and use these spaces to mm -hmm. just get out of the apartments a little bit. And what, are, what is the charge for like running out the spaces? So this spot you can't rent out. We're going to go across over here to the community room and you can rent that one out. Okay. That is $100 a day or $125. Uh, no, wait. It's 75 during the week, 100 on a weekend, and then 125 on a holiday. Okay. Thank you. Oh, this is huge. Lights on in here. So you can rent this room here. Okay. Um, if it's not rented, you're free to come in here and just hang out. Um, how do you how do you know if it's rented? Um, you can check with us. We usually do a reservation on just like a, a uh, outlook calendar is what we have. Yeah. Um, otherwise, when people do rent it out, that little stand in the corner there, we'll say um, they'll take it and they'll set it right outside the door. Would you guys like let us know exactly if it's gonna be rented out instead of like coming up here to check if it's rented out? No. no. It would be nice. <laughs> yeah. It no, be. if you if you because sometimes it's so last minute and so yeah. like for us to, to send out notices for every rental, we couldn't do that. But if you have a date in mind, you just let us know. We can check the calendar and we can get a get you on it. Okay. Um, great patio here, kind of closed down for the season. Um, but we've got plenty of um, great furniture and lounge space out here. These big chairs and those big couches um, have big cushions that go on them. Okay. Um, there's some little rocking and Adirondack chairs that go around the fireplace there. And then we've got two gas grills over on the side there. 728, 728, here we go. <laughs> this is the traditional one bedroom. Okay. And this one is kind of our medium size. I've got one that's a little bit bigger than this, and I've also got one that's a little bit smaller than this. Oh. Yeah, this is kind of on the small side. So our community view. And you don't have anyone that's facing outside of the. Um, I think. Both. One of the next ones I'm going to show you does doesn't face here. The other one doesn't face here either. Okay. But it's kind of a kind of a rough view. Yeah. Okay. Let's just close this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to walk in here with my boots. I'll just turn the light on. <laughs> I believe there's two closets in there. Don't worry about the carpet. There, yep, there are two closets. There's one to the left and one to the right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this one's a lot huger. Yeah. <laughs> 
there. They all do, actually. It's in behind your bathroom door in here. Really? Yep. It's kind of creeping in. Ow. <laughs> oh, so it's all in one washer dryer. So they're, no, they're never mind. stacked, but they're not the all in one. Okay. So we like them better like this because if something does happen with your dryer, you're not on a washer also. That's true. So we can just replace the dryer and not have a big deal. Okay. Yep. And now with the appliances, because I know some of them are not really fully painted. Um, are appliances kind of like upgrading in some units too? Some of them, yeah. The so for the most part, most of our appliances are black, um, but we do have some that have stainless steel. Okay, stainless yeah. steel would probably be better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Um, Built-in microwave, dishwasher, and a garbage disposal in all of the units also. Okay. Nice. Yep. And then notice the cabinet um, and countertop colors. You've got the red and the black. One of the next ones we go into, I believe, is going to have... Um, I think the next one we go into is probably the same, but then mm -hmm. the last one we go into has gray cabinets with white countertops. Okay. So. Okay. Cause uh, yeah, cause I've noticed like with the cabinets, it looks kind of like chipped off. A little bit so worn. Yep. And so you guys would repaint those if I. I don't think we would. No. Nope. How come? So we've done we've done renovations. Most of the of the building has been renovated since I think they started in like twenty. 16 mm -hmm. um and so like the oldest ones are like 2016 the newest ones are like they were done with them in like 2019 or 2020 okay. so some of them are, are a little bit newer than others um i don't know that they repaint these i don't know if at some point they'll get to a point where they'll just start renovating again mm -hmm. um most of this stuff like some of it is just like worn yeah but it is like a um I don't know if it's like veneer or exactly what the wording is. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. But yeah, see like it, so some of them kind of peel off. So I don't think that they're necessarily paintable. Uh, and also in order to match the colors, you know, I don't, I don't know that we would do that. Okay. So what I would recommend is I do believe that the, the gray cabinet with the white countertop is considered the premium. Mm -hmm. And those do seem to hold up a little bit better. They don't have the wear marks that some of the redder cabinets do. Okay. So keep that in mind. Okay. okay. Let's go take a look at another one then. Like the alarms? Fire alarms? Yeah. How yeah. often are they like ran? This is huge. This is the studio. Really? So this is your only living space. It's huge though. It is. I know. Right? That's crazy. I know. Um, view's a little bit different. Yeah. And it's not very bright here. I don't know because of where it's at. Yeah. Um, but if you can get over the lighting situation, look at the little apartment. No, yeah. seriously. Right? Great closet space in here. Um, so each unit has a smoke detector. We also have a sprinkler system throughout the building as well. Okay. Um, and then we do have this thing right here is like the building alarm system. Yeah. And so this one, like this one's just like your smoke detector. If you set it off, like it's just gonna go off in here. This yeah. one is if there's like a major issue, all of these will go off. And these are loud and yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about the carbon monoxide sensor? I believe the smoke detectors are required to be carbon monoxide detectors as well. Okay. And do you guys have fire extinguishers in every apartment or no. every unit? Not in the units, I believe they're, on each floor, I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure they have to be great. Really? really? Yeah. So why did they make it like that now? I, this is like the third apartment that I've used to where fire extinguishers are not included in every unit. I, I guess I've never been in a, in a building that's had them in every unit. Yeah, really? No, never. Oh. Uh -uh. Where are you from? Are you from here? <laughs> yeah, I am. It's <laughs> crazy. Very big uh, clothes closet here. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. This isn't even bad for a studio. I know. I know. Crazy. Um, this one here is running at 1208. 1208. So, decent price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I guess stuff like this is good for like minimalist people. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nice. Oh, I forgot to shut that button. And do you guys like hold events here? Just the 
We do. Yep, you do. Um, we try and do. We try and do once a month. Um, and sometimes it's big gatherings. Sometimes it's um, smaller things. Sometimes we'll just do like um, uh, like breakfast, uh, uh, like donuts or muffins or something down at the coffee bar. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes for like. Valentine's Day last year, I want to say we did like cupcakes or something while you're in the evening. Nice. Um, and then, like I said, sometimes it's more um, like gatherings. Um, for Thanksgiving, we did a Friendsgiving uh, potluck <laughs> in the in the community room. Okay. Um, we've done we done a chili cook-off. Um, what else? We did a pet Halloween costume contest. Oh. Um, that was fun. <laughs> okay, so it's a pet friendly building. It is very pet friendly. Okay. All right, so this here is the model unit. Okay. And this is fully furnished, so it looks super fantastic. And you're gonna fall in love. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, hold on. What is this, like a one bedroom? We do call it a one bedroom. Really? Um, I feel like it's more of like a studio with an alcove kind of a feel. But we do call it a one bedroom here. What? <laughs> feel free to go up there and take a look. Are you sure? Okay. Yep. There's a queen size bed up there. Great big closet. I like what they did with it though. I know. This is super cute. Right? What? Huh. <laughs> A random picture right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they definitely see I like this view. Yeah. This could be something. Yep. And then your laundry is in this front closet over here. Oh, okay, I see. This is a lot better. Yeah. And it's cute. Like, yeah, I would love like a view like this to where I'm yeah. not like looking in other apartments. Yep. Yep. Huh. So do you I've have a few of these ones and all of these look out the same direction you do yep okay yep. Um, that that help that's helpful now yeah yep. okay um, right now I've got I think I've got like three or four of these one two three four I've got four of them ranging anywhere from 1312 actually 1297 okay um, 1312 I've got two of them at 1312 and then one at 1327. Um, so this could be something, yeah. right? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Seriously, it kind of changed my mind. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so this unit here is 655 square feet. Okay. That last studio we were just in was yeah. 625. So this is just a little bit bigger than that. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Totally doable though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any pets? Pumps. No. No. Mm -mm. Not at all. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You like this one best, I think? I do. Yeah. You got me. <laughs> you got me. Yep. I really like um, it. Oh, and notice the count, uh, cabinets and countertops. They are okay. They yep. Yep. are looking a lot better. Right? Yeah. Okay. This, the uh, gray with the white is definitely considered the, the premium. Yeah. Um, as much as the red cabinets yeah. do. Yeah. I just don't like the stove, the black appliances, but I mean, sure, sure. Can't. When you're yeah. ready to, if you see an apartment, this, the, the cabinets are not obviously as easy to change. Mm -hmm. So try and talk to whoever your leasing agent is and, and you know, at that time. And, and if you want to request see. this, you can. Yeah. And then depending on, again, you know, who's, <laughs> who's here and who, who wants to do still. what, you may be able to get them to replace some of that stuff too. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. We've been going through and doing some upgrades in our units. Um, so a couple of things is one is we're replacing thermostats. So okay. a lot of our units are going to um, the digital. We do have some old really? school ones. There are some units that don't have those. It's some of them. It's like a little drop down little drawer thing. Yeah. And then there's like an on and off, a high, medium, low, and like that's it. Okay. So we're trying to upgrade those. Um, the other thing we're upgrading is the dryers. Um, and so a lot of our dryers are going to start looking like this. These are ventless dryers. So there's not an out, outside vent, yeah. but there is like a moisture 
um, and filter things in here and up there, as well as your link trap. So okay. you'll have to keep an eye on that and yeah. um, change those. Okay. Um, they're supposed to be super efficient and, and very green for the environment. So um, there's that. And then the third thing that we've been doing is our bathrooms. I don't think this one's fully upgraded, but there's some upgrades oh, maybe. I didn't even look at that. Oh, I love that. Isn't that cute? That's like a hidden in the mic. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> You can use it for shoes or books, or you can use it for decoration or whatever. Yeah. So we've been going through and doing some of our bathrooms. So this is new flooring in here. Okay. Um, a lot of our uh, bathrooms, older bathrooms, have just sort of a white tile yeah. flooring. So that's being done. We're also doing a new tub surround in a lot of them. Mm -hmm. um, it's really nice. It's more of like a subway tile kind of a look for them. Yeah. Um, it's still like a white tile, but it is a surround. So it's one piece, but it looks very tile like. Yeah. Um, and then doing a little bit of resurfacing in the tubs if, if that's needed as well. Yeah. So, nice. yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just, you know, kind of get an idea of what you're looking at and, and, you know, you can definitely request some of those things as you, we get closer to your moving date and we'll see what's available and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Do you have any flex? Hey y'all. So I just wanted to make sure that I closed out the video. Excuse the bonnet. My head hurts so bad. I just got my hair ready today and ugh, I just hate the process of getting my hair done. Like in the aftermath, it's 10 times worse too. But anyway, it should be easy to get into a part, an apartment. It should be easy to get the things that you are looking for. And I didn't feel like I was grasping that, you know? So I definitely gonna find some more apartments. I do have a list. I just have to um, sign up for showings. But I just wanted to give an insight on what you guys think. Like, do you think that I should give it a try. Do you have any like recommendations? I would I would definitely take them. Um I don't really know exactly where I would like to move to. I was just trying to to look into apartments a little early because I procrastinate. But if you guys have any suggestions, definitely put it in the comments down below and then yeah. But anyways, y'all, I am going to be going to bed. It's about to be 2 o'clock in the morning. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I'll be going to bed super freaking late. And I hate that because I'll be waking up madly. So, anyways, bye. Good night.